So Dr. Anthony Fauci is the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, and he's joining me on the phone right now to talk about this. So doctor, we just ran a story where we heard a parent say she does not trust these vaccines. You know, particularly there's a lot of mistrust when it comes to the MMR vaccine. What do you say to a parent like that? She's obviously in the minority, she's an outlier, but in some of these communities, there are enough parents that think this way that we have now an outbreak of the measles. Well, first of all, you don't want to denigrate or criticize the parent for their, for their, for their thoughts and for what their beliefs, but you have to tell them uh, something that's quite true, that the overwhelming scientific evidence over many, many years and decades indicate that the vaccine, that particularly the measles vaccine, which what we're talking about today, is very safe. Uh, now, the lack of safety and the adverse events, things like autism, which people talk about, that issue is based purely on fabrication, and that's been proven. There is no association whatsoever between the measles vaccine and autism because a physician in the 90s back in the UK made some fraudulent statements based on data that was fraudulent data that in fact there was an association. That got out into the internet as it were and never left. And then there's this feeling, I guess understandably, but unfortunately not based on scientific data that the vaccines are not safe. Particularly with measles, it's unfortunate because measles is not a trivial disease. When measles was rampant before the vaccines were available, it was one of the most devastating diseases globally and in the United States. Prior to the 1960s, when the vaccine was introduced, there were a couple of million cases of measles, 450, 400 to 500 deaths, about, about 500 deaths a year, thousands and thousands of hospitalizations, and 1,000 cases of encephalitis. So, so listen, putting, doctor, yeah. you know, her comeback to this idea of all these studies being done is that, you know, essentially not the right studies. They're not looking... No, that's not true. Okay. That's just not true. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to disrespect the person that's saying that, mm -hmm. but that's just not true, period. All right. So listen, you know, officially the disease was declared eliminated in 2000. Obviously, we've had these recent outbreaks. Do we blame the anti-vax movement for that? Well, yes, unfortunately, you know, you don't want to say blame, that's a pejorative thing, but it as a result of the anti-vax movement. If you look at the outbreaks, the outbreak in Disneyland years ago, the outbreak in Minnesota among the Somali population, the current outbreak that's going on in New York City and in Rockland County in New York State among Hasidic Jews, and what we're seeing now in Washington State are due to individuals, families, parents not having their children be vaccinated and when you get below a certain level of vaccination in the community that's how you get outbreaks that's been scientifically proven year after year so the answer to your question unfortunately is correct these outbreaks are due to the anti-vaccine movement doctor we mentioned earlier that there are many states that actually don't require parents to vaccinate their children do you think there should be uh, you know some sort of legislation introduced that makes it a requirement across the country well, yeah, I mean, obviously there are some legitimate reasons, medical reasons for not getting vaccinated and some religious reasons, but there's a category called philosophical reasons not to get vaccinated. And that particular category has been abused. So I'm in favor of states, cities or what have you making regulations that require a more strict interpretation of the exemptions that one has to not get vaccinated because the exemption clause of philosophical objections to getting vaccinated are actually in some sections of the country being abused. Interesting. Dr. Anthony Fauci, thank you so much, sir. Good to be with you.